Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Wi-Fi on an Android phone to capture and crack a Wi-Fi handshake. For this setup I'm using a Poco F1 with Kali NetHunter installed on my rooted device. And as you can see currently my phone isn't connected to any Wi-Fi network. Before we dive deeper into Wi-Fi, let's talk about the powerhouse behind this setup, Kali NetHunter. For those who don't know, Kali NetHunter is the official penetration testing platform for Android devices developed by Offensive Security. It's basically a portable version of Kali Linux. As you can see, my Chirrut Manager is running properly, as this is essential for accessing the terminal and running network tools. Now let's open the terminal and directly launch Wi-Fi by simply typing Wi-Fi and hitting Enter. Wi-Fi is an automated wireless attack tool that simplifies the process of scanning and attacking Wi-Fi networks. Once launched, Wi-Fi will ask for a network interface to use. Here I'm selecting option number two, which corresponds to my Wi-Fi adapter. Remember, you'll need a Wi-Fi adapter that supports monitor mode and packet injection for this to work, but in my case, my phone's internal Wi-Fi adapter supports monitor mode. Wi-Fi now starts scanning all available Wi-Fi networks nearby. Once target network discovered, close it using Control plus C. Keep in mind this demonstration is for educational purposes only. Never attempt to hack into networks you don't own or have permission to test. For this demonstration, I'm selecting my own Wi-Fi network named Alita 4G, which is at number three on the list. Wi-Fi will now begin the handshake capture process this involves de-authenticating connected devices, which forces them to reconnect, allowing Wi-Fi to capture the handshake needed for password cracking. Once the handshake is captured, WiFi automatically starts the brute force attack using a word list. It systematically tries each password in the list until the correct one is found. This process can take anywhere from a few minutes to several hours, depending on the password's complexity. After about 25 minutes of brute forcing, Wi-Fi successfully discovers the password for the Alita 4G network, and just like that we have the key. Again a reminder this demonstration was performed on my own network for ethical purposes. Unauthorized hacking is illegal and unethical. To verify the success, here's another device connecting to the Alita 4G network using the cracked password, and boom, we're connected. And that's how you can use Wi-Fi on an Android phone with Kali NetHunter. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. In my next video, I'll show you how to install this setup on an Android phone. Remember, always use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.